Hi, and welcome to the Mediander NFL Picks with Gino. I'm Gino, as you know by now, and this is the Mediander website where, as you know, we want you to know more about the NFL. And this week, we want to talk about not just the fact that there are so many backup quarterbacks starting in the NFL this week, six last I checked, and that's if the Texans don't smarten up and start TJ Yates, uh, but the story we're going to talk about is the team that is finally not starting a backup quarterback for the first time since week two. That's right, fans of Big D, because your savior is back as Tony Romo and his Dallas Cowboys travel to Miami to face my girl Kitten Delight's Dolphins. And man, never has it been proven more that these are in fact his Dallas Cowboys than over the past two months. Now, Vegas believes this game is a pick em, And we'll be giving you your first bit of gambling insight here. Pick em just means pick one. Just pick the winner and we're going to give you cash. Well, I'm not going to tell you to gamble, but I'm going to tell you in this video that I have no problem picking a team, and it is going to be the Cowboys. Because bringing back Tony Romo, this is how good he is, changes the face of the entire team. We already talked about how when you don't have a quarterback that knows your system, the system collapses, and that is what we saw in the past week. Never was it more obvious than last week when a frustrated Des Bryant boiled over off the field and then brought his apathy to the game Sunday against the Bucks when he refused to try and catch that that game-winning TD on the last play. And what did he do? What he's been doing the past month. Instead of trying to play football, he just started bitching at the refs, asking for a penalty. The refs didn't bite. But you know who did? The Cowboys for the seventh straight week, as they did not even score a touchdown in this loss. But now... Des Bryant is coming off a bye week, and by that I mean bipolar. The guy is B-A-N-A-N-A-S nuts, and he's got his best friend Tony Romo back. And watch how quickly he goes from crazy and unhappy to just winning football games and playing harder and getting open for Romo. And it opened Des Bryant, opens lanes for Darren McFadden, who was seeing nine men stacked in the box against him the past few weeks with terrible Matt Castle at QB. Tony Romo is the straw that stirs the Cowboys' drink, as they say. And anyone that thinks the Dolphins have a chance in this game needs to put down their drinks because the Dolphins are not as good a team as Dallas with Tony Romo. Because one player like Romo makes the Cowboys better at every position. They're better at quarterback. He's better than Tannehill. They're better at wide receiver. He's better than... See what I did? You can't even name Stills as the receiver in Miami. And they're definitely better at running back. Watch the Cowboys score repeatedly and win at every quarter, every quarter and flat out run away with this game. That's why we pick for, for uh, Geno's pick for week 11. And by the way, look up there, go to the left, see that comedy spotlight. Guess who it is this week? See you next week.